my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. We're over in Studio M, which is the metal shop. <laughs> and uh, we've got the uh, Polaris Ranger. It's a 2009 Polaris Ranger. Um, you know, it's one of those double-edged swords. This thing's been good. It's been bad. I've rebuilt it a gazillion times since 2009, but overall it's been very dependable. The maintenance on it is neglected, I'll just admit it. Uh, the ball joints are completely wore out and that's what we're fixing. That side has already been tore completely off. I'm going to show you how I tear this side out to get the ball joints out. We're not going to be replacing the ball joints until those parts come in. And of course, by the time you see this video, those parts may have come in and we may continue on and put them back in here as well. But right now, we're just worried about disassembly and that's what we're going to show you. I think we're going to get started right here just taking this tire off. I've got my little Harbor Freight Earthquake uh, impact wrench and it should remove these tires I think. It's a pretty amazing little tool. This one is the lightweight one. I have a heavy duty one also and I'm telling you the heavy duty one will twist a half inch bolt off so these are really good tools. This is only the 3 8 inch model here. Works great. And I'll lay this tire here and I'll just put the nuts and washers right here in the rim so I don't lose them hopefully. The ball joints are here and here and you know there's very little play but there's play. You see that amount of play there? Uh, it's moving a good eighth inch and that's not good. It's not supposed to do that. The other side was far worse. It actually came apart. It's, it was that bad. But this side's loose too, so it might as well be fixed while I'm in here. I already learned from the other side that I have to take this brake caliper off. So I might as well just go ahead and get that done right now too. That'll just give me better access. Probably be blocking your view. Sorry about that, but... Difficult to do. The other side came right loose. Of course the battery could be getting low on that by now. Ugh. Broke it loose that way. Maybe this will take it off. That did it. That one came loose, just took a little longer. I think they were locked tight it on. Ugh. They're not easy to get off even, even after you get them off. I don't like to leave that hanging on there, but I don't have too many options at the moment. I'll just leave it hang in there and just be careful not to bang it around too much. There's a uh, another keeper thing that's holding those hoses. So I guess I'll take that loose too while I'm at it. Then we've got two pins right here to remove. Yep, make short work of it. I like to put the nuts and the bolts back together so I don't mix them all up later. And we got to do the same thing to this one down here. And then I'm going to need to take this big shock absorber loose right here.
I have to get these uh, ball joints out, pry them out of their spot, but I've got to take four more bolts up here in the, in the rest of this fork loose first. So I might as well go ahead and get them first. They're going to be fun to take loose. Hopefully hold this side and get it loose. Oh, a piece of cake. I didn't think that would come loose that easy. Let's see if it'll drive that back out of there. And I got it. Got to take this one out. This one, I'll use the extension with the swivel. This has got the swivel on here. That helps reach around corners, if you will. And that's kind of what we're doing here is reaching around a corner. There we go. That one was pretty tight. I broke that one loose by hand first with the wrench. I wonder if I should take those bottom bolts out first or take this piece out first. I might as well take this piece out, I guess. Really don't know the proper order. I just do it as I do it and we'll figure it out. I'm driving a chisel in there to spread this out and then that lets this pull out. There's a Anyway, there's a gap in between there that the bolt tightened up around this. It's not crazy loose, but it's, it's definitely looser than it should be. Now, this part comes out like this now. And so this ball joint has to be pressed out of here, but there's a keeper on here first. We've got to take the keeper off. I'll show you all this up close later, and then we've got to press this out because it's pressed in tightly. So I'll take these two bolts off now and... Then this bottom fork should come apart. <clears throat> well, that one's tight. I know that. <sighs> okay, it'll probably come loose now. All right, I'm going to take this other one loose before I pull the bolts out. But it did it. It did it just fine. So I need something to set this on before I go much further. I'll, I'll find me a block of wood or something. I've got these blocks of wood here holding up this brake deal and that might work. I'm going to have to uh, spread this uh, joint out again. All right, how do I get in to hit that? I don't know. All right, I got that spread. Hopefully that'll come out of there. Well, it's stuck. It won't go the rest of the way. And I don't know why. I know that's how it goes because that's the way the other ones all went. Be nice if it could be held up here. If I had two more hands, it'd be a well, it just came off all by itself. Look at there. I guess that's all you had to do is raise it up high enough. There you go. Piece of cake, wasn't nothing to it at all. Pretty much, I just raised it up higher and it worked. I'll lay that up on there so it's not laying on those hoses all this time. Nothing's ever simple, especially on video. And then it, and then it is simple whenever I just, just picked it up and it fell off. <laughs> wasn't expecting that. All right, let's see, is this one loose or has it got any play in it? Actually, they're not terrible. For this side, they're not terrible, but I could tell there was an eighth inch play in the overall mechanism, so I'm still gonna take them out and replace them since we're this far along. Right now, we gotta go over to the press and get these things out, and I'll show you how that works. 
Well, as I lay these on the bench and look at them, I'm noticing that this is the top one, this is the upper arm, and I'm noticing that this is this piece here is much shorter than this piece, and I think you can see that in the video. And this is the lower arm. So I'm gonna check the other ones to make sure they were the same. Now here's the two off the other side, and they're the, exactly the same. Um, it looks different because the rubber boot's missing on this one. This one was completely wore out, but the top of these you can see is the same, where the top of these is not. So I imagine I replaced this one already is what I'm guessing, but I don't know that for sure either. But regardless, we're getting all four new ones, and hopefully the four new ones will all be the same. Well, anyway, we've got to take these uh, keepers out right now. spring clip here that's on this uh, it's a washer spring washer spring clip I'm not sure what the right word is I know the word I can't think of it anytime I'm on camera it's hard for me to remember the words but anyway you know what I'm dealing with here the one side is stuck as usual just because it can be and it's on camera so I'm just gonna see if I can pry it up and Maybe knock this side loose with the hammer here. Maybe that'll make it come loose and get it out of there. There we go. All right, so we got it. And let's see, we got another one here. This one's much tighter though, I can tell that already. Wow, it's bending my pliers. Yeah, that's not working. All right, well, it never fails. Again, on camera, it's gotta give you trouble. So I'm gonna see if I can knock it apart there, knock it loose with the hammer and deal and see if this will move it now. And yeah, not so much. Like I said, it's already bent these. I've not found a pair of these that are any good either, by the way, and I've bought several different kinds and all of them are junk. Here's an example. I bought these. These were cost quite a bit of money actually, and they broke, I think, the first time I used them. So I just made my own fix on them and you know, I know most people would take them back, but I figured I needed them and I just made them work. Let's see if they'll work on this. Uh, not really. The hole on this is too big. I may have different ones for this, but I think, I think these are too big. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get the different ends on these. Okay, got the new ends on here. Let's see if this will work. These are much heavier duty, so maybe they'll work. Well, they're definitely uh, spreading it apart. And of course, it had to slip out of the hole. All right, so one of them side came out. I'm gonna see if this side will knock out. All right, maybe, maybe these will get the job done now. I really don't have luck with ring pliers. I really don't. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that ring is really stuck in there. This is that different one. It's probably uh, been forced. Trying to knock it down where it'll come out of the ring the rest of the way, but as per usual, especially on camera, it's decided it ain't gonna cooperate. So I'm gonna see if I can force it to cooperate. Slow down, don't turn left, dead in the head. As painful as this is for you to watch, it's just as painful for me because it should just be a lot easier than this. Ah, it just won't. If these darn things would stay in there, it would be a piece of cake too, but nothing cooperates, especially on camera. It's really ready to come loose, but it just won't. All right, I'm just going to force it. All 
Okay, so I'm, I've got this side pried up out of the groove. The screwdriver's holding it up. I'm just gonna knock this side out, hopefully. That popped it off. Yeah, that one there did not want to cooperate, but we got it, and that's all that matters. All right, so now we're gonna press these out with the press, and we'll move over to the press. I'll show you how that's done. Okay, I've got this in the press. All I have to do is pump this down, and it should push this right out of here. I, you can see I've got a tube here. This is just a piece of pipe that I can press this down into that pipe. So here we go, let's see if it works. There it goes, it's pressing it right down through, as you can see. Wow, that one popped. None of the other ones pop like that. But it worked. There you go, we got her out of there. That's all that matters. Now we'll press the other one out real quick. We'll see if we can press it out of there now. There it goes. Ah, very easy on that one. Well, to my surprise, the parts came in last night, so it's the next day and we're ready to press them back into place. I'm gonna start with this one, which is the top, what would be the passenger side, if it were a car, I guess you'd say. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. I have yet to press one in. Those will be the first one. There we go. Going right in, looks like it. Put a little extra pressure on that just to make sure. That looks good to me. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do all the pressings first. I'll set these in place so I don't get them all confused. Okay, here goes number two. This is the bottom one on the same side, passenger side, if you will. Try to get it good and flat there. It's going. Here's number three. Here's the final one, number four. This is the one that the actual ball joint broke on and it made a mess around here. So anyway, I think it's gonna be okay, we'll see. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is try to put these snap rings back on. Each one of these came with, with its own new snap ring. So let's see if... Uh, things will cooperate and it'll let me get that done. When it comes to snap rings, I don't always have the best luck. I'm gonna get a little uh, screwdriver and hammer though just to make sure it's down in there where it needs to be, but it looks like it is right now, but I'm gonna double check it. Okay, I'm just gonna tap on this with a hammer just to make sure that the ring is down in there like it's supposed to be. I kind of think it is, but then again, it don't look quite right either. Okay, this is the top one, and it's got to go back in here. All this fun stuff has to get connected back up. I think I'm going to clean all these bolts off camera and then wipe them down with uh, Never Seize again. And I think that's what I did the last time I took this apart, so I think that's a good idea. Okay, got the bolts cleaned real well and uh, put never seize on the threads. And I think a little bit of that never seize will squeeze out in, in through the bushings and stuff too, which I think is okay actually. If I could drive through your mind, would the road be rough or pay? Can your love for me be saved? A highway or gravel road? Either way, it's the same old load. I'm not going to tighten it down until I get. A little further along here, I think. I'm trying to think, should I put the shock on first or should I put this on? I kind of think I'm gonna put this on first because I have a feeling this is gonna be a fight. I wonder what I'd find if I could drive through your mind. I'm 
gonna go ahead and clean up these bolts too before I put them back in there. So I'll clean that up and be back in a second. Okay, I've got this cleaned off, ready to install this keeper in this ball joint. Let's see how that goes. See if it goes in there. Uh, again, I think it's not, I don't think it's all the way in there, unfortunately. It ought to be, but I don't think it is. Oh, maybe this chisel's in the way now. Maybe that was it. I think that was it. In my luck, these ball joints don't line up. Oh, it doesn't actually. It's way it's in deeper than it should be. Wow, that's not good. I wonder if that's... I can see that the ball joint is actually deeper than it needs to be right here. Bummer, that ain't good. So it's actually in too deep. I gotta get it back out. Each day on the interstate, as I'm pulling the load of freight, I think of you with each passing sign I see. Well, there it is. I don't know if it's right or not, but that's the only way it can fit. Kind of aggravating. They don't match the original joint, ball joints, much. The road ahead looks rough, and the travel sure be tough. But I wonder what I'd find if I could drive through your mind. I wonder what I'd find. There you go. Well, that one's installed at least. And now we can put the uh, shock bolt in. That went easy. Well, this is going easier than I expected, I have to say. I wouldn't call it easy, but easier than I expected. Oh man, this wrench just fell apart. Ah, oh, gun it, that ain't good. It's a gear wrench too, you wouldn't think it would fall apart, but it did. Of course, mainly because it can. Now we gotta put the brake caliper back on. I have a feeling this is gonna be fun because uh, you know how it is, these plungers stick out. Can I get them compressed back? I don't know. They were tight coming off. I have a feeling they're not going to go back on. Yeah, that's pressed them back in there pretty far. Maybe if I'm quick, maybe I can get them back on here. I could drive through your mind. Would the road be rough or pay? Would you do love for me be safe? Highway, gravel road. Either way, it's the same old load. But I wonder. Getting that hole lined up is the bolt is not easy on these brakes. There's probably a better way to do that, but I don't know what it is. Let me lift this back up here. If oh I can't lift it up because of the shock. Well, ain't nothing simple. I'll lift the whole thing up a little bit. Let it back down on this, maybe. If I could drive through your mind. All right, now that I got one started, maybe I can get this other one started. There it is, maybe. It just was being a pain on lining up. I think it's lined up.
Maybe I got ahead of myself because I got to put this bottom one on yet. <laughs> I was thinking I was further along than I am. I may have to take this shock back out. Doggone it. Oh man. That would be a bummer. Nothing's ever simple. Maybe I can just force it with the uh, letting pressure down here. <laughs> it's never ever easy. That's all I know for sure. When you think it's easy, it'll fool you every time. So I got to get this back on to hold the brake lines. You know what? I don't think these are supposed to go on this side of this now that I see this. I think they were supposed to go under this. Ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. So now I got to take the whole thing apart and put these lines under here. At least I think that's how they went. Even though this keeper's on the top side, maybe if the if there's traction on this, maybe I don't have to. Ah, doggone it. That's not good. The beauty of doing this is you get to do it again. Isn't that wonderful? I could probably take them loose maybe and just move them. Maybe that would be okay, but the problem with that is then you're losing fluid and you gotta do your brakes and stuff. Well, off camera, I took the shock back off. I took this bolt out, I loosened the brakes up, and I'm gonna see if I can get this out of here without a major, you know, major ordeal. It's uh, close to coming out, but I don't think it's going to. Now I pulled the, the axle out of the hub here, which was, wasn't a bit helpful. That didn't help anything at all. Oh my goodness. Could just be so simple. It really could. It just doesn't have to be this hard. It's so crazy. If you make a mistake, you'll pay for it 50 times. There it came out. Oh, I just have to take the brake all the way back off. I had it just where I could do this easy, but no, it had to, had to jump all the way out so that I'd have to start from scratch. Like I do. I still wonder what I'd find if I could drive through your mind. Now if I can just get this bolt back in there would be really handy. Well see this is what I get for filming the first one I did. I should have just did this one first and then filmed the other one and it would look like I know what I'm doing instead of the way it's turning out here. Okay, it's got to go a little deeper in the hole. But the problem is it falls way deeper instead of just a little deeper. There we go, maybe that's it. And where did the bolt go now? It just doesn't quit. Oh, it doesn't quit. Oh, it just doesn't quit. Where did the bolt go? Here it is. There it is. Now can we get the nut back on it? Hopefully we didn't booger up the threads too bad. Now I think before I even put the brakes back on, I think I'm going to, in fact I think for sure before I put the brakes back on, I'm going to get this bottom one on here. 
and then I can maybe figure out how the brakes run better. I wonder what I'd find if I could drive through your mind. Would the road be rough or paved? Would you dear love for me be saved? A highway or gravel road? Either way, it's the same old road. But I wonder what I'd find if I could drive through your mind. I think I've got this ready to go in. I'm hoping I can get this to line up and get this one in there. There it's starting. And once again, I'll probably have to put this chisel in there to spread it out. There it went right up in there after I spread it out. Now I just gotta find the bolt to lock it in place. And hopefully the bolt will go through without too much hassle. There we go, it went right through. Wow, that was nice that that, that just finally cooperated. You know, I may have screwed up again. I didn't put the brakes back in through here because I really wanted to wait and see how this all fit. There it goes. Eric. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, I think that's the way it goes. I don't know for sure about anything at this point. All right, nothing's tight yet. I, I just wanted to check everything to fit. Let's see, before I get too far ahead of myself, I want to anchor these brake lines down. See if they'll go back where they're supposed to. My sweet of the Fairly sure that's the way that goes now. Better than it was. All right, so now I get to uh, put the uh, shock in place. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think everything is finger tight. Everything is connected. So now, should be able to torque it down. I think we're ready to go. So, I'm gonna get busy tightening everything. I recall And guess what I forgot? I forgot to put the ring, the clip on the bottom one. My goodness, I tell you, maybe I can still get it on. I tell you, I really am not clicking on all fours today. Holy moly. Oh, no, I don't think I can get it on. I don't think I can open this up enough to get it around that. I cannot believe this, but I'm going to have to take that apart again. Uh, I have to take this back out again to the shock. The bottom one's got to come back out so I can get the keeper on there. By gosh, I'm going to put those keepers on those other ones before I start. Live and learn. Hey, I met her on the mountain in the fall. I got it all back out of there and I'm gonna put this ring on there I know this is painful guys I'm sorry but you know I got a lot on my mind and I'm trying to hurry and I, that's causing the problems does not want to be my day for working on stuff I should just quit and go to the house is what I should do if I had any sense that's what I would do but I really want this fixed and I just want to get it done at least I'll have learned from this side some of the pitfalls for the other side. Hopefully I won't make the same mistakes. At this point I'm not guaranteeing anything. I think I got it. Yep, it looks like it went in good too. So at least I got lucky on that. The uh, ring went in there properly. Alright, so can I get lucky and get this back in there without too much hassle? 
All right, yep, and it went too far, of course, like it can, and it did. Oh my gosh, why does it have to do that? It just goes right on through and goes too far, and then I have to force it back. Come springtime, we were married in a church house. Our love grew. It wouldn't even be hard, I don't think, if I had one more hand. There it is, it went through. Now this time, I do think I'm done. I can't think of anything else that could go wrong now. Why should I even say that? The brakes are tight. Those two things are tight. Now all of that's got to be tightened up. Well, actually, I guess I'll go ahead and put the shock back on it again. Okay, the shock's back on. Now I just gotta tighten up these parts up here. I think these are 15s also. Summer Little that I know my sweet Melinda. Your Done, I'm gonna look it over, make sure I didn't forget something. Got the brake line secured, I've got everything tightened down. Uh, there's no play now in the front end, there's no play at all. Well, of course it's sitting on these blocks, that's so really hard to say, but right now it doesn't feel like there's any play. I'm going to move all the tools out of the way, jack it up a little bit higher. I haven't put the tire on. Uh, I, that's the way that one came off was with this tire on, so might as well just do that. All right, so let's jack it up a little bit more. That might be enough. She would be gone. My sweet Melinda. I'm happy with that. Well, my friends, you saw all my trials and tribulations. I didn't hide it from you. There was a lot of problems. I made a lot of mistakes. Stuff happens, you know, especially when you get in a hurry, and I'm in a hurry. So now I'm going to do the other side, and I'll speed through it and just show you anything that uh, pops up that's unusual. Well, I've got things a little better prepared on this side. Not totally prepared, but better. I had to run to town and get three new bolts. The bolts that uh, go through here, that go through here and hang onto the frame, they were wore out on this side, ex except for one. One was still good. I couldn't find exact matches, so I got the best I could do. Um, they are metric, and uh, these are hardened bolts. So, and I did get the flange nuts, but I just couldn't get the flange bolts. So I'm just going to put a flat washer on there in place of the flange for the bolt head. And we're going to call that good enough. Oh, I recall the day.
Okay, we're ready to get the wheel back on. Let's see if it'll go on here. Or do I have to raise the jack up? Of course. Of course, I have to raise the jack up a little bit more. Okay, piece of cake, nothing to it. Well, at least I didn't make the mistakes I made on the first side. I made a lot of mistakes on that side. This side here went fairly smooth, except for the fact that that one pin wouldn't line up. And I think that might be because something might have got slightly bent when that all broke apart but I don't think it's bad enough to worry about since I was able to get the bolt in there. But anyway, stuff happens. And we'll tighten these up. Just snug them down first. And then we'll go through and tighten every one. getting close to done look no play in that now there's zero play in that now that's good that's very 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 good so for the most part now all that's left is putting the uh, brush guard back on this thing let me make sure there's not some other thing that has to be put on here I think that's it I think it's just this and the only problem is I got to find the bolts to line it up and get it on here Okay, I'm going to put a little heavy seas on these two. I think we're completely finished. And it stands there on its own. Well, other than cleaning up the mess, it's finished. So I'm going to back it out. Let's see if it actually moves under its own power. Okay, let's see if she'll drive. me hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up and if you would please subscribe there'll be more content coming down the road thank you for watching <laughs>